like you put it to oh I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Hello guys, it's Connor and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Before we get started, I do want to quickly thank our sponsor of the video. <laughs> Anyway, today's video is sponsored by ShopTagger, which if you've never heard of them, they are pretty much, they're pretty much a lifesaver for online shopping. I personally very rarely buy things in store. If I can get it online, I will. And I feel like at the moment, online shopping is definitely the way to go with the things that are going on in the world right now, a global pandemic, you know? ShopTagger is really awesome because it allows you to save money and it also lets you know when things go on sale. So if you're a regular online shopper like me, this is definitely something that can help you be more effective. <laughs> so ShopTagger is a free web app. You can either use it on the computer or on your phone, whichever is easier. And it'll notify you when products go on sale. And it'll also tell you when things come back in stock, which is the biggest lifesaver for me because I'm like amazing at picking out the things that are always out of stock. So it's super helpful for that. So that way you don't have to keep checking the websites to see if it's back in stock. You've got it all saved in one place. So ShopTagger is really great because it can help you save money on certain items as well. ShopTagger have also launched a new cashback feature so you can get money back through your PayPal as you shop, which is just, it's like a little thank you for spending money. So since at the moment I'm looking at a lot of like house decor pieces for my house, so I'm saving a bunch of items so I can grab them when they go on sale so I don't have to pay full price. Cause why would you pay full price if you just get it on sale? So the way I like to use it is by say, I have like my essential beauty products or things that I buy regularly, you can save them. So you can always buy them when they go on sale, which is really handy. So you never have to pay full price for anything. It's super easy to use. It's a free app, so you don't have to pay for anything. You can download it onto your phone as well. You can also add it to the extension on Chrome so you can have easy access to it all the time. So for example, if you have a product that you really like and you wanna get it when it's on sale, you just click on the shop tagger button and it'll save it and it will let you know when it's on sale. Shop tagger also has a feature where you can organize things and create lists. So say if you've got like clothes, makeup, skincare, you can have it all organized and nice, looking nice and pretty. Plus shop tagger will also test a bunch of different coupon codes at checkout. So you can get an even bigger discount if you want, which is the best thing ever because I'm always the person who will Google discount codes for like literally every website. There's always one. So it takes all the hard work out of it and just like tests a bunch of codes until it gets one if there is one for that website. So you can save even more money. I will have all the info about shop tagger down below if you guys are interested in trying it out. I've been using it for the past month or so and it's so great. I love it. Thank you so much to shop tagger again for sponsoring the beginning of this video and without Without further ado, let's get into the vlog. Good morning guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I have just gotten up. It's currently 20 past seven in the morning. Why do I wake up with the butt crack of dawn on a weekend with no alarm? But then during the week, I wake up to my alarm at 7 a.m. I kind of love Mondays to be honest because I really thrive with routine, getting stuff done. I love it. It's what makes me happy. Doing nothing doesn't make me happy. <laughs> of course I do love the weekends and everything, but it's Monday and I've got my to-do list. You just get stuff done. I, I really enjoy it. So I've made myself a coffee. I'm trying to wean. Is that a word? Wean? Wing? Stop having sweetener in my coffee because it's not the best for you. We'll see how we go. Got, I think, quite a lot to do today. I want to announce the Sony, the winner of the Sony giveaway. I'm just about to watch Jazz Hand's weekly vlog. She uploads at 7 a.m. I'm gonna watch that. Just chill out for a bit. And then I have the gym at 9.15. All right, I've made it to the gym. I'm in my mum's car. I'm in my mum's car. <laughs> Um, because my car was parked in. It's 9 a.m. I'm just having my Oxy Shred. I don't have this all the time. I think I mentioned this in my previous video. Like, I will try and not have this tomorrow. It just tastes so good that you want it. I can't attest to how well this works yet because I've only been taking it for, like, a couple weeks. I'm gonna see how I feel after the end of this week and, like, give my thoughts and stuff. 
but hopefully we have a good week i'm putting it out into the universe it's going to be a good week it would be so so exciting if my house started my house build you know i don't think it'll happen this week but um it, things might get approved this week at least hopefully by the end of next week we'll see and then it'll start and i can't wait to document the process i'm so excited i picked out all my colors and basically all my inclusions there were three things that i really wanted that weren't like standard it's almost like say when you download an app and it's free but if you want to get like the like extra features you might have to pay for that it's exactly like that when you pick out the colors for the house there were like three things that were not included essentially so one the kitchen bench top i wanted it to be almost like a marble look so that one will be a little bit more expensive but i'm so excited two i'm gonna have black fixtures in my house so like a black black taps black everything so i wanted a black sink that's just what i want i know it's probably not everyone's cup of tea but i really wanted it so we got that which obviously is an upgrade and then three i really wanted a big square shower head to come out from the ceiling so my shower is gonna be so gorgeous it's gonna have like no screen or anything in my ensuite oh my i'm so excited you guys will see that in the future 907 right now i shall head in in a second i'll see you afterwards <sighs> okay we are done that seriously burnt my legs holy moly all right I'll show you what i did my little thing now 40 minutes 251 active 298 total calories i'll see you guys at home good morning guys happy tuesday um i've got like a pimple under in my like under eye it's currently 9.04, about to go to the gym. Nothing new going on here, folks. I'm sorry, this is the riveting content that you signed up for. <laughs> What's on the agenda for today? Um, nothing really much exciting. I need to film like a sponsored segment for a video. I have the dentist this afternoon at 5 p.m. I'm just going for a checkup and clean. I probably went to the dentist like a year ago, probably over a year ago, which I know is terrible. I had braces as a kid, so I feel like I went to the dentist 500 times times when I was younger even though I got them off when I was 11 and I'm now 21 but um I haven't had my oxy shred today just because I don't want to have it every single day but there are people everywhere so I'm gonna head in and I'll see you after now 4 36 and i'm off to the dentist i'm gonna pop on my favorite podcast or the only podcast i should say that i listen to which is crime junkie they come out with a new um podcast every tuesday so i'm gonna ah. if you like true crime highly recommend crime junkie i love them so much i've tried to listen to other podcasts like other crime podcasts but i don't know i don't really like them please recommend your favorite crime podcast down below because i've tried i've listened to all the like big ones and i don't really like any of them except for crime junkie so got some beyonce hair right now <laughs> yeah what feels like the first really solid it's nowhere near the pear tree apartments okay so what do i even look like god missing foundation i just got done at the dentist teeth were all good that was really quick that was literally like 10 minutes so i'm gonna drive home now it's 5 24 i'm quite 
hungry. The feeling of after you get your teeth clean is so weird, like, because obviously you get a bit of like build up and stuff. Ooh, teeth chat, so exciting. But anyway, I'll see you guys later on. Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. It is actually 20 past one at the moment. Um, I'm filming on what I eat in a day today, so I've kind of put more priority on filming content for that day. So today we might not film that much, but I got in a package from Dermalogica, so I thought I would unbox it. I might open it in my bedroom. Have a nicer background, don't we reckon? So this package is from Dermalogica and they are my favorite, favorite skincare brand. I just got some top-ups of my favorite products. Let me open this. Okay, so we've got the Daily Microfoliant, which is my favorite physical exfoliator. I either use this or the flash foliant, which is a chemical exfoliator. Just depends. So I really, really love this because it's super gentle, but it does buff away those kind of dead skin skins. Dead skin cells really well. Then we've got the pre-cleanse, which I've never tried before, but it's essentially just a makeup remover that is made of like oil, which is my favorite type of makeup remover because it just melts everything down. It's not stripping on the skin. So I've got this bad boy. And then this I'm super excited about is a retinal clearing oil. I'm trying to like that's what it looks like. So it's good for breakouts and skin aging, which is amazing. It says it clears skin overnight. I'm very keen to give this a go because I have been breaking out a little bit more recently. Um, and I'm kind of attributing it to working out more because obviously I'm sweating. And then we got a top up of my favorite night moisturizer, which is the Sound Sleep Cocoon. This stuff is incredible. This is like one of those products where I actually notice a difference overnight. Um, it's so moisturizing and just makes my skin feel so smooth. I love it. And then also on skincare spectrum, we've got some Fenty Skin. I'm so excited I received this package. How beautiful does that look? So the packaging on this is so pretty. So this is the Total Cleanser Remove It All Cleanser. I don't know if this is a makeup remover or a cleanser. It says daily cleanser plus makeup remover in one. I personally like doing a double cleanse, but this is very interesting. So We've got that. We've got the fat water. That's what it's called. Fat water. It kind of looks like thick, a thicker, thicker consistency. Um, it says pore refining toner serum. So that's interesting. I kind of want to smell this. Hello. It smells very nice. I don't know. I don't know if this comes out of the top. And then we've got the Hydrovisor, which is an invisible moisturizer, broad spectrum SPF 30. Um, I'm just going to open this up and see what it looks like. The packaging is very aesthetically pleasing, much like all of Fenty's products. Oh, like you put it. To oh, it's come in like two parts. That's very interesting. It's like, this is the product here and then you slide it into this device. Interesting. Oh, that is the coolest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, so you just buy refills for it then. Oh, you twist this up and down. Very excited to give this a go. I know there's like so much hype around the Fenty Skin products at the moment. Those are the packages that I have to open for you guys. It's 125 right now. Um, I'm gonna probably pre-cook for dinner maybe, and then I'll have my lunch a little bit later on. I had a really late breakfast today because I'm filming my what I eat in a day, so I tend to film and take longer to do things. I also need to give you a Kmart haul of everything that I bought in my previous weekly vlog because a few of you guys commented saying you wanted to see a haul. So I'll show you what I grabbed. It's not that exciting. It's just like little bits and pieces, um, but I'll be sure to show you. Okay, so it's a little while later now. Same spot, different jumper. But time for a Kmart haul. By the way, I get so many questions where this jump is from. I got it in Canada, in Whistler. Um, so I, you can't really get it anywhere apart from convenience stores in Whistler. But this is everything that I picked up from Kmart the other day. I know this is super random, but I thought I would show you because it's fun. First things first, I got a two slice toaster because one, it's probably going to be me and one other person in the house. And I don't eat toast. <laughs> Like, I don't really, like, I probably have it once in a blue moon nowadays. So I, f I thought, I don't need a big toaster, but whoever I'm living with might eat toast, you know. So I got 
a little black toaster because I think I want a black theme for my like appliances. They didn't have a kettle that I wanted um, because all my fixtures are going to be black so I figured keep the black theme. This is just stuff to kind of get me started. I know this is not necessarily like high high quality. So I picked up this 50 piece utensil set, probably like 20 bucks and you get all that in there which is like everything that you kind of need just to get started. That's my point of what this is. Like I know the knives and stuff are probably not going to be that great but that's all right. So you've got some spoons, spatulas, uh, measuring cups. I picked up a colander, because I use a colander. Um, and then I got a few extra pieces of utensils that weren't necessarily in that box. So I got some tongs. I got a spoon. There is, there's a spoon in that box, but like it can't hurt to have another one. I got a spatula. I love spatulas. They get everything out of the bowl. I got a peeler. I don't know if this is going to be any good, just because, yeah, it's super cheap and like it may not work. I got one of those plastic cutting boards because I feel like these are the best for like meats and stuff. And then I got a wooden one for all my vegetables. Um, and I thought this is a really nice one, you know? And then they had these, which were 75 cents each. I was like, can't say no to that. 75 cents, what do you mean? So they're just like simple little, <laughs> simple little like glass tumblers. And then I got some tall ones as well. So then I picked up this. Oof. Um, It's a five piece cookware set. I've used like cookware pans from Kmart and they honestly work really well. Probably eventually I will invest in really good quality um, pans and stuff. But like I said, just to get me started, this is pretty much everything I need. So I think it was probably like $60 for um, a saucepan, a saucepan with a glass lid, a casserole dish with a glass lid, a fry pan and a bigger fry pan. And then the big daddy at the back, I got a bin. Cause you need a bin when you move into a house. So this is a 30 liter white rectangular bin. I got a white one cause Freya said it would blend in better, which makes sense because my house is pretty much gonna be all white and then black fixtures. So I thought, yeah, a white bin makes sense. That is everything that I picked up from Kmart. I think everything was about 175 bucks for all that, which is crazy. So yeah, obviously I will get more things like plates and stuff, but I think I want to do an Ikea trip eventually to get stuff because Ikea have a lot of good like kitchen things and whatnot. So yeah, it's currently 4.30. Um, I might have a shower. I tried to scrub off my tan the best I could. I get lazier and lazier when it comes to scrubbing off my tan. Like I get to a point and I'm like, that'll do. That'll do, don't care. But yeah, I had coffee with Freya and Millie, which is really nice. We just hung out for a second. I just find it so funny that I bought a toaster and I don't eat toast. I just find that really funny, but anyway, I'll see you guys later. All right, so I'm just about to hop in the shower. I've already had a shower today, um, but I'm just gonna have a quick one just to wash off a little bit of makeup that I've got on my face. And I don't know whether to use the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse or the new Fenty. I think I wanna give this a go just because it is like brand new and everyone's talking about it. So I'll let you know how it goes after I get out of the shower just because I don't know how I'm gonna vlog and yeah, okay. All right, so I just got out of the shower. Update on the cleanser. My skin's breaking out a bit, but I'm human. It definitely removed my makeup. It, it smelled really nice as well, but yeah, I look stunning right now. I wanna try the um, retinol clearing oil. What does it say? In terms of skincare, you're meant to do oil last because water can't penetrate oil. So I'm like, do I only put this on or do I put a moisturizer on first and then this? Smooth six to 10 drops over cleansed face and neck. I don't know. Seem like a little dropper. Ugh. Okay, so it's very oily. I'm probably not gonna tan my face tonight, just so I can see. Ooh, very smooth oil. And that will have plenty of time to soak into my skin before I go to sleep tonight. Cause sometimes if I apply an oil, I can't take myself seriously. If I apply an oil right before I go to sleep, I feel like it can like transfer onto my pillow a little bit. So very excited to try this because retinol is really good for your skin. It's a very lightweight oil. Like it doesn't feel super, super heavy at all, but it's about 524. I'm actually gonna go make my dinner because I like to eat quite early on in the evening because I do intermittent fasting or a dirty fast. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll probably come back down and tan. So that's what I'm doing on my Wednesday night. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. Oh, I've got a sweaty mustache right now. Cute, I just got done at the gym. Let me end my workout actually. My arms are killing me today. With um, strength, 193 active, 240 
calories. So it's currently just gone 10 a.m. I think I'm gonna stop at Woolies just to grab some like Makona coffee um, because I'm about to run out. I really should get a coffee machine, but I might wait until I move into my house, we'll see. What's on the agenda for today? Nothing too much exciting. I always think my vlogs are boring, but you guys love them. Someone is staring at me. All right, so I'm back from the gym. I'm about to hop in the shower, but we've got a few parcels to open. This vlog is gonna have so many unboxings in it. This is what I wore to the gym. I just wore the little stacks crop and then the black shorts as well. And then black socks. I, I don't know, I love wearing like all black outfits to the gym. So we've got three packages here. One of them is coffee. Literally just bought coffee. I love the Before You Speak coffee. I've had it before. Oh my gosh, yes. So this one is from Before You Speak Coffee. They have collagen coffees um, and they're just amazing and they taste incredible. Oh my God, they sent so much. I think most of their coffees have MCT oil. So it's instant coffee. So it's super easy to make. I've had the caramel one before. I feel like I'm very overexposed. MCT oil, turmeric, ginseng, green coffee bean, black pepper, and then stevia leaf. Those are the macros on the back. So I think it's like eight calories. Yeah, 100% natural, vegan, paleo friendly, keto friendly, dairy free, no artificial colors, gluten free. We've also got the mocha. Oh, I'm so excited. So this is the one of the collagen coffees. If this one tastes anything like the caramel one, I'm gonna love it. So, ooh, cinnamon spice and the caramel as well, some samples. And then they also sent along a little keep cup. That's so cute because I have been having hot coffees. I can have that on the go now. Thank you so much. So that's the Instagram on the screen there. I'm so excited. I'm definitely gonna have one of those with my first meal. And then I think I got a parcel from Hideaway. You guys know I'm obsessed with their products. You guys are constantly messaging me saying like, oh my God, thank you so much for getting me onto Hideaway because it's so nice. I do have a discount code with Hideaway. It's just Connor and that gets you 15, if I can open this, 15% off. So this is the black sugar collagen body custard. This smells like YSL black opium. Oh my God, yes. Smell that. <laughs> and then we also have the vanilla caramel scented body wash. Mm, delicious. We have this one, which I think is from Sephora. Oh, wow. So this is from MCM PR. Got a bunch of little goodies by the Sephora brand. So we've got all this stuff. So we've got a mascara, waterproof eye makeup remover. That's a micellar water. I'll have to give some of this to Freya because I won't use all this. Thank you so much, Sephora. I've been using my keys to open the packages, but that's everything that I got. I think I'm also getting an Amen package today as well. Yeah, I'm gonna hop in the shower now. It's about 10.30. I'm gonna probably, depending on how hungry I am, I will either have a protein shake or I will wait a little bit longer and have a big first meal just to end my fast, but we'll see. I'm trying to decide which one I want. I feel like I wanna try the mocha one. And also, if you wanna level up your smoothies, put this in. I think I might do that today. Put this in with a smoothie, like a chocolate smoothie especially. Oh, gone, dead. I'm gonna have this and then have my lunch kind of as my first meal, just cause I need to do some computer work. Oh, that smells delicious. Oh, she's gorgeous. I wish you could smell this. <laughs> This is my favorite almond milk to put in my coffees. This is the Vita Soy Unsweetened. Shock a bit of her in there. Taste test. Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna do some computer work um, and then I'll check in. I just got another package in too, by the way, from Eamon, as I said before. I'll unbox that later on. I need to tan my face tonight as well, but I think that clearing oil worked really quite well. Um, I've still got some like breakouts here, but they're kind of flat now. But this big boy up here has gone down quite a lot, so yeah. All right, boys and girls, the time has come for me to finally do a nail tutorial. I've already started doing them. For those of you who have been asking for the nail tutorial, here it is, kind of. Briefly chatting about the products that I use. I get pretty much everything from Amazon. I use the brand McCart and I get, they're the coffin, 500 pieces, coffin nails, acrylic fake nails, 10 sizes. And they're like the translucent kind of finish. I look orange because my face is so pale. And they come with a bunch of sizes. Those are the nail tips that I use. They're literally like $10. 
such a steal and they last forever. All I do is, as you can see them here, I literally just hold on to the end of the nail with some tweezers and I paint it and then I let them dry on a piece of paper overnight and do however many coats I want. So this time I've done white. It's super easy so you don't like bang them or create marks or anything and they kind of stick there but I just file off the paper which I'll show you in a second. So this is like the thumbnail. Basically all I'm gonna do is grab a file it can be a little bit time consuming, but it's honestly not that bad. And considering they last for a fairly long amount of time and I kind of enjoy doing it, it's very therapeutic, but I literally just file off the paper and it comes off super easily. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back to you. All right, so I just finished filing all the edges. These were painted white. They definitely could do with a second coat, but honestly, I cannot be bothered. These are the gems that I use. These are also from Amazon. This little bad boy is my light. It's like portable. You just plug it in with a USB port. And then this is the gel top coat that I use. Also from Amazon, super cheap. I also have this thing, which is like a, like a nail prep that I got in a kit once. I think it just kind of dries out your nails so everything sticks better. So I'm just kind of literally just, um, that's the brand. If you, This is the nail glue that I use. It's by the brand Nailene. You can literally get it from Kmart. It works really well. All right, so I just glued one of the nails on. I definitely should have done a second coat, but oh well. I'll actually take the nail and kind of push back my cuticles because I'm lazy. And that's the nail. I do one little drop of glue on my nail bed. You kind of learn what's the right amount for your nails. And then I press it down. You want to make sure it's straight. And then I just hold it down for like 10 seconds or so. Applying quite a lot of pressure just like that. And I'm going to do that to all of my nails. I usually leave the thumb until last just so I can kind of maneuver things. But this is how long they are. As you guys know, I love my long nails. I do trim them just a little bit though. So I'm just going to take some, these are actually cuticle cutters, but I'm just going to trim off the very tips. <laughs> Just a little bit, just so they're not too, too long. <laughs> I mean, these are extremely long, I know that, but I love it. Then I'm just gonna file the edges just so they don't have like a rough edge. Okay, so all my nails are on. I usually use the smallest gems, which I'm gonna get some out. So I'm just gonna tip them out. I'm gonna take my top coat have my tweezers ready. I'm just gonna do a layer on my nail. You get better at doing this the more you practice. The first time I did it, they turned out terrible. <laughs> just try not to get it on your skin because that, it just doesn't look very good. And then you literally can lay down the crystals in whatever pattern you want. I just kind of go like this. It can be a little bit fiddly with the crystals, but like I said, you kind of just learn how to do it. So I usually do something like that. Then I'm gonna get my lamp, turn it on and just let it cure. And that's it. And I'm gonna do that to all of the nails. All right, so that is one hand done. You can see there completely dry. The gems are on. I love this. This top coat's honestly great. It's the only one I've ever tried, but it's really nice. I'm going to finish off this hand and then I'll come back to do the thumbs. The thumbs are probably the easiest nails to do. You've got to really make sure that you've got them on straight before you really press down just because if they're crooked, you can't really fix it. I kind of just like hold them up to each other to see if they're the right length. I'm pretty good at using my non-dominant hand. I guess, like I said, it's literally just practice. You get better at it as the more you do it. So that is them all done. I definitely don't think I'm the most amazing person at nails, but 
that is how I do them. This has been so highly requested. And obviously sometimes I'll switch it up with the colors. I pick whatever color I want. I just, I love doing it this way. I think it's such a good way to save money. It is a little bit time consuming, but honestly, I love it. So for all you guys who've been requesting the tutorial, there it is. You're welcome. <laughs> I've just got a cup of green tea. I should have put cold water in this actually. So that's gonna be boiling hot for a bit, but I'm gonna open my Amen package that I got. And they reached out and said, hey, can we send you some stuff? And I was like, of course. They also, ooh, got a little, what are these called, a keychain? Why be moody when you can shake your booty? <laughs> they did give me a discount code as well. I think it's just Connor 10. So we've got, oof, this color, a little crop top. I love working out in less supportive bras when it's like, like weights or something. I look, gosh, I'm just. I got everything in a size small because that's what my pink set is in. So we've got this one. I love the feeling of these. I believe these are seven eighths. Yeah, so these are the beige ribbed seven eight tights. Then we've got these ones, but it's similar tone. Ooh, we've got some black shorts. So these are in like a, almost like a gray toned blue. Cloud ribbed black shorts. These ones do have padding, but I'm pretty sure they're very minimal actually. Normally I take the padding out because I don't really need it. Thank you so much, Eamon. I'm super excited to wear those to the gym. I'm gonna need an entire new wardrobe just for all my active wear that I'm accumulating. So how beautiful is this? Oh my God, it's so pretty. They're a really nice length as well. This is like my ideal length because I'm not the biggest fan of like full length tights. This color is gorgeous as well. So yeah, if you wanna try anything from Amen, you can check, use my code. So beautiful. Good morning guys, happy Friday. Guess where I am? Guess, just guess. The gym? Yes. Having my Oxy Shred. I don't know if this is like placebo or what, but I've actually dropped a little bit of weight in the last like week or so i'm down to about like 53.4 kilos as i'm filming this clip right now i don't know if it's because of the oxy shred that's just something to note but it's 906 a.m i'm probably not gonna vlog this weekend either just because this video is already really really long i know you guys like long vlogs but i've got um some personal stuff to do on this weekend so i think i might just end the vlog on the friday today today will be hair washing day which is my favorite day i love washing my hair but yeah i'll check in with you guys later on Holy, that was probably one of the hardest workouts we've ever done. Holy moly, we had to push these like sled things. Far out, man. Okay, gonna end my workout, but nice and sweaty. 265 active, 313 total calories. Rightio, just wanted to document that that was a great workout. I will see you guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys at home. All right, guys, it's now 12.45. I've just been editing this vlog. It is a big vlog. Even though I'm not gonna vlog tomorrow or, or Sunday, this vlog is massive. The weather was looking really nice today, but I think it's gonna rain according to the radar, so that's lovely. Thank you again to Shop Tagger for sponsoring this video. Please subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with my weekly vlogs. But as always, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.